guys want to go for a ride? Let's go. Let's go for a ride. What are you doing awake, man? I'm sure it's I'm sure it's late there too. It's pretty late here. Let's go for a ride. You can't sleep. I'll take you on a ride. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I've got to be honest with you. I feel like I'm living in a dream. When I watch the news and see what the world is going through, it doesn't feel like it's happening in my house. Is that happening to any of you? Is that MP? What are you doing awake? <laughs> I have to go drop something off. Honestly, I have to go drop something off. So how many of you guys have done your taxes? <laughs> how many of you are afraid to do your taxes? Yeah, I can't sleep either. I've been working on my taxes for weeks, but crunch time has really hit home and hours and hours looking at numbers and I know MP might know what I'm talking about where make sure you comment below tell me where you're at what you're doing where you know where you're from comment below for me <clears throat> I don't know don't put your age out there man take that off <laughs> so we're on a road trip right now my tax folks have uh, moved locations even further away from where I'm at but yeah I've been working on my taxes I'm the kind of person that likes to get things done okay and so yes I am dropping my taxes off right now at 3 I told them I'm gonna come at 3 in the morning <laughs> so here's the deal I hope you guys you know if you're a business owner even if you're not that you're you know you've got your numbers Get a tax person. Let them handle the tax stuff. Because you know why? There's things we don't know. Get a tax person if you're a business or if you're not. I mean, honestly. But I, I don't want to use, I've never and will not use the very small box offices. I won't. I've heard too many word. No offense, you know, they're there, but some some folks have been doing taxes for 30 years and some folks have been doing taxes for a summertime. Or again, it's purchasing. You gotta purchase QuickBooks or purchase this app to take care of your mileage or whatever it is, you know, you wanna choose to do. Me, I don't I don't have that app that does the mileage. I keep my mileage to my write it down. I'm the old school like that, I guess, which is good and bad, but technology is not free either. Although, you know, my brother-in-law was like, hey, try this free app. And I think free comes with a price, just like we found out with TikTok. So TikTok tonight, we found out, Apple found out TikTok has been an app used in China, right? To watch everything you guys are doing on TikTok. Isn't that crazy? So if I go download an app that, listen to this, and this is common sense for me, but everybody doesn't have common sense and that's okay. So if you download an app and it seems too good to be true, it's free, right? But by the way, there's nobody on the road right now. So this is another benefit of going out of my way at two in the morning to drop off my taxes is that what would take me an hour tomorrow will only take 20 minutes tonight. So the common sense thing here is, if it's free, doesn't mean it's that great. Or in this instance, this is a lot of stuff that I'm gonna give away for the cost of free. So what I mean is, I'm now gonna use a mileage app on my phone and it's free. And this is just, we're just figuratively speaking. Just to chit chat, cause it's in the middle of the night. I mean, what else are we gonna talk about? Uh, we could talk about a lot of things. So, it's like you're in the car with me, right? If I was riding with somebody in my car, don't you kind of look at each other and talk? Don't we, don't we do that? So, okay. 
were on a road trip for a minute. But always keep an eye on your surroundings. So if you have an app, download it. If you get this mileage app, he's like, it's free. And I'm thinking, okay, that's great. But can you trust the company who made it? And where are they from? Where are they putting this data? Who are they selling my data to? Which would mean my mileage data. That would mean then every place, oh, I don't want to get pulled over, I guess. I'm not watching a movie, but that's a nice car. Okay. It's like this. So now, because I'm using a mileage app, if I was, then it would know everywhere I went and it would track my mileage for me to have a number to t turn in, but also for someone else out there to know exactly what my movements are. You know, not, not that it isn't already hard with Google per se or Apple Maps, you know, that's not maybe, that's maybe already happening, right? But now I'm really like, here's my house, here's where I go to work, here's my other work, here's my fourth work, here's where I like to go to the park, this is the lake I like to go to, this is where I take my dog to the veterinarian, and then I do like to go to Costco over on this side of town, but then I do like to drive all the way over there at three in the morning to drop my taxes off. <laughs> you know, so like, you're literally handing over this free information. So, food for thought. But anyways, I write down my mileage. It's tedious and it's a pain, but that's what I do. I um, don't have a bunch of, and so I honestly wouldn't say I'd get a free app like that, but hey, I might pay for one. You know what I mean? I might look into it and like pay for it, but I'm not gonna, me, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I can just simply write it down, write my miles down, add them up at the end of the year. It takes it longer, but oh well. Um, if you do it with, with it, if you, believe it or not, you know, as busy as it is to do taxes right now, right? What if I wasn't prepared? What if I didn't even log the stuff I did log all year? Oh man, it would be a lot of, it would be even longer. It probably would take me like uh, six, eight hour shifts to do my taxes if I didn't have everything kind of, I've already entered a lot of stuff in a database, right? To kind of, I'm already ahead of the game. Anyways, what are you up to? What are you doing? Why can't you sleep? I figured you couldn't sleep, so I came on. Because I was like, you know, I'm going to see if anybody else can't sleep. They're not going to believe what I'm doing right now, but it's okay. We'll go on this little trip, and I check the lighting and stuff. It's kind of okay, and kind of got a wiggle. You don't have to look at me. You could just listen to me and type, you know. You don't have to actually look. Look at the screen. But did you guys know... Um, I'm going to scroll back up and talk to you guys, I promise. But did you guys know, like, what did, did he tell me? All of a sudden, I'm, like, surrounded by cars. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get over and get out of your way. Here, hold on. Let's do that. Like, 24-hour fitness, you know? went bankrupt I'll be uh, they 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 went bankrupt but may not close down like they filed a certain kind of bankruptcy what stores have you known through this whole situation with COVID actually have closed down if can you name some stores that you're like yep they're gone I, I can't name them but I know there's like at least 10 that I've seen not here anymore you know what I mean and how can it be 2.30 in the morning and my stomach is growling? I mean, what's going on? Come on, dummy. <laughs> oh, Victoria's... Wait, wait, wait. What? No. Are you kidding me right now? you got to put that on repeat for me, please. I Victoria, what happened with Victoria's Secret? Well, I better watch the rough. What happened with Victoria's Secret? Honestly. Gotta put that back out there for me. Callie, I came on for you too. Maru, hey. It's awful quiet though. 
Yeah, I didn't I didn't think Victoria's Secret shut down either. They may have closed some stores. It's interesting how everyone is awake. All of my peeps are awake. What's up, Kathleen? Dear <laughs> Oh, see I got you. I know what's up. That's funny though, isn't it? What's up, you guys? I haven't been able to catch the screen because I'm driving, but I'm gonna look. I've kind of seen a few things like Kathleen. I saw someone say something to Callie. I saw Maru's name. So that's funny, isn't it? We're all up. <laughs> oh, Megan's up. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. What? It's like 2:30 in the morning. What are you guys doing? Only the best are up for real. Okay, what's this yellow i mean it's so confusing but it's dead it's so dead out here there's like no cars on this road and tomorrow in the morning even though you know we are having the biggest numbers here in texas okay of covid 19 like three thousand in one day five thousand in one day i mean it's sickening tomorrow it will be just like a regular work day and everyone's on the road and it's crazy and it's a lot of traffic and like seriously to drive over here would be an hour and right now it's like 20 minutes go figure night hawks night owls oh god look at it. it's already green you know and those dui drivers you gotta look around because they be like creeping up on you like bang you know them don't want to be that so just be careful out there I just say, you know, if you want to have a drink, man, just have a drink, stay put, use Uber or Lyft, just don't get behind the wheel, it's just not a good day. Just understand this, be like, I'm going to drink and make a choice before you drink, then you set up the situation. I think what we do is not set up the situation, and then you make ter terrible choices that are life-threatening. Man, I want to show you guys, it's so, let me see if I can flip you. You guys see? Can you guys see? What do you guys see? There's nothing going on. There's no party. I mean, well, I don't know about that, but there's no, it's quiet. There's no one on the street. You know, uh, you guys see? <laughs> All right, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. Yeah, man. I agree. Wear a mask if you're going to go out. And if you, you know, I have my face shield right here. Wear a face shield. Take the film off the face shield. Duh, Dee Dee. It's funny, man. Take the film off the face shield. <laughs> yeah, lots of businesses have closed. It's. And you know what I heard the other day? Please give me a hazmat suit. You know what I heard the other day? The barber shop next door, right? Listen closely. The barber shop next door, the owner, he said, hey, Didi, what's up? What you doing? You know, how you doing? How you hanging in there and stuff like that? He's been closed also. He said, Didi, only a couple of, a couple of us came back. I said, why? What? why you know he goes because they're getting unemployment and they don't want to work now i said what you know honestly now i didn't i didn't fill out unemployment i'm not gonna but it and some people i know are not gonna and but they don't have the money that they did but i tell you what no offense but a lot of this government assistance, tell me what you think. Government assistance also makes people sit at home, doesn't it? It like, he said it, they're gonna, they're making more on unemployment than actually being a barber now. So they don't want to come back, not until they have to. I was like, what? So that's how the system gets broken because isn't there not enough money for everyone to get enough money? that's why the government would say well we don't want to do any extra money because there's people out there breaking the system a little bit and that just ruins it for everybody in my opinion but I gotta say too if we can as Americans I, this is I think it happens like this but you know what I'm not in there 
I'm not in there seeing where the numbers come from, where the money comes from. But if we can bail out American Airlines with some really crappy customer service in a lot of cases because they're unionized, if we can bail them out over and over and over, if my tax dollars, is my tax dollars bailing them out every time we bail them out? Whose money is bailing them out? So they, the government didn't want to let American Airlines fall under, right? But we're letting hundreds of businesses fall under now. And so if we can if we can put millions or billions, how much is it? Millions or billions in American Airlines, which honestly I got to say is not my favorite airline. If I had a choice, I would fly Alaska, but guess what? Alaska got bought out. Or no, Spirit Airlines. No, not Spirit. Virgin America, my goodness. Virgin America is my favorite airline. I was so disappointed that they got bought out. I re I don't want to fly with anybody else. Nobody. Not one of those other planes and I've been flying my whole life. Now, one of those other, the, that Virgin America had the best customer service in my entire life. And I've been flying since I was born. And I got to say, you go with these airlines because they're unionized so they get to keep their jobs even if they treat you like shit. No offense. Not everyone's the same. I'm not judging them all, but I have not had too many very great experiences. A handful, but not a lot. And I fly more than the average in my opinion. So... If we can bail out American Airlines, why can't we bail out America? That's my point. It's not fair. But I'm not going to get into that. I just want to put that out there. What do you think about it? Do you agree? I have had my share of like 13 hour, 14 hour, 24 hour, 28 hour flights. And so I think I have a bit of room to say I have had some really shitty treatment with American Airlines. No offense, but it's the truth. I have flown American Airlines many, 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 many times. And I have a very, I, I would not, unfortunately, fly with them if I didn't have a choice. And it goes across the board. None of, none of those airlines, Alaska, Southwest, Spirit, you know, not, I have not one where I'm like, I love them. It was Virgin America. Unfortunately, it was Virgin America, the best. That was the best. Oh, wait, U.S. And what I mean by U.S. is like Japan Airlines is number one. Okay, Japan Airlines is number one. But I don't know what happened. If the relationship failed or tickets were too much, here in Dallas, they were flying out of Dallas. And now they're, they're not flying out of Dallas like they were a couple years ago. You could catch a Japan flight like and go straight from D Dallas to Japan. And that was great because then it turned it into like 13 hours instead of 28. And why do I care? Because I grew up in Japan. So back off. Japan's on my third home. <laughs> but do you know the flights to Japan? If you don't plan it out right, man, it's a bad day. I mean, it's expensive. Okay. I think I need to look at the maps real quick. So let's take a look here before we get further in. Let me pull over. Let me look over here at these. Oh, there's a popo. Oh, great. I just, oh, I got to turn you guys that way. What's up, popo? Okay. <laughs> Let's see here if I'm going to have time. One moment, please. Maybe it caught up. That was perfect timing. This next light, I think, is where I got to take a left. Callie, I don't know if you've mentioned it because I haven't been reading. I've been kind of watching the road, but um, are you going to surgery this week? We're praying for you. I thought tonight's live feed would help you. And I was hoping you would be up or that you would see it. So, hey, uh, I'm praying for you, girl. Okay. I'm going to check these maps here in a minute. I mean, seriously, when I go back and read what you guys wrote, I hope you guys tell me or telling me why you guys are up right now. <laughs> why are you up right now? Why am I? I'm not the only one up right now. This is crazy. Okay, right. Type on there. I'll be right back. I do think I might have missed a turn, but it's making me go. Migraine. I hate those migraines, man. Did you try those steps I told you about last time? <laughs> Did you try all those steps last time? I'm telling you, man, one of them steps is a good one. That's a good one. All natural, but it's a good one. We 
got to go to drop off. So, ooh, that's a nice house. Ooh, that's nice. Man, ooh, that's nice. Woo! What? Piano? Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. That's real nice. Oh, you know I'm a realtor, right? And I love, I love houses. I love properties. Ooh, I don't know where I'm at, but boy, oh boy, I need to pull over. I can't pull over. There's no room, but dang, there's a fountain in front of that house. Man, this is, this is where you need to be right here. Ooh, what's this? Look at this cross, you guys. You see the cross? Oh, wow, man. What am I doing? What are we doing? Did we come over here for a reason? Okay, let me put my hazards on. I'm not getting out or anything out in the middle of nowhere, but I am going to show you. Okay, just making sure you guys are still here, still around. Okay, let's see here. Man, I don't know where I'm at, but wow, look at that house, man. Gosh. Look at this, look at this. This is too late for this, but these folks, I'm gonna get pulled over here in a second. Can you tell? Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It's pretty, he's like, scope. Ooh, look at that one. Oh my gosh, I don't know, man. Woo! Some gorgeous houses, I'll tell you what. Okay, hold on, be right back. Oh my goodness. Man, I seriously got, took on some back roads over here. <laughs> okay, when we get up to the slime, I'm going to pull over. I'm going to read what you guys wrote so far. Cause I, I feel like you guys are really chopping it up. Man, that's a nice house too. What the? Dang, that's nice. They're building that. That's nice right there. Woo! You know that uh, $800,000 house is right here where I'm at right now. I mean, it's nice. You know, something else, what it does for you is, um, on the, oh, the moon's beautiful too, man. But on the houses, when you have a, um, front lights landscaping lights it's nice real nice yeah you're probably right probably a couple million some of these for sure just because of the land value where we're at right now mm. Mm, it's nice out here about y'all i'm having fun <laughs> what i'll do for you i will do this for you i would totally i should start putting an ad in the paper but i would like someone else to do the driving so i can just look bobblehead like i could just look at everything and so as a realtor i would do that you pay me and i will just drive you all across wherever just so you get to look at some of these things without worrying about driving you ever want to just pay somebody to drive not lift or uber like, not like that, but a, like a nice ride, nice, comfortable, leisure ride. They're smart. They're, they're clean. And you know what I'm saying? Is this too much to ask? Um, I'm going to post some stuff because I think that that should be out there. So someone, not necessarily like a realtor, they're in a rush. They're trying to do this and that. But you literally just pay them to drive you around. And you it, you can do it as a realtor. You know what I mean? Like, you could, I could say, I'm a realtor, so this is what I suggest we do. Let me drive. You just look. And then you let's just look. We're not going to look inside houses, but I want you to look at the area, the shopping centers that are there, the what the houses look like, what the communities look like. And we'll drive as long as you want for this much per hour. You know what I mean? Okay, this is where I need to be. Let's check. Okay, let me check. Hold on. All right, we're not too far off. So I was going to stop, but it's still kind of out in the, there's like nothing around. So we'll see what happens here. See if we can get to a place where I can at least read what y'all writing. I like it. It's nice. There's no one out. But is anybody else feeling like, you know, we're we are, we're our our hospital staffs out there are extremely maxed out, and 
I worked really hard. Remember when I was doing all of those mask orders and orders and clipper, like I'm still doing orders, but like not where people were panicking for masks, right? I was doing like 18, 19 hour shifts and it was, it was really exhausting at that time. Days, I mean, I think I went 30 days doing that and it was so exhausting. But it's what I put on myself. I could have let packages wait longer and wait longer and wait longer. I could have done that. But I also felt that feeling, you know, like, I hope that's not where I need to be. That feeling like they need these, you know, they need these masks. They need them now. And if I wait 10 days to ship, not just sitting there, but this order's coming in, you pack, you pack 20 a day. I was packing so many, right? I hope that's not where I needed to be. <laughs> I say I'm passing by all these businesses. I'm like... Man, is that it? State Farm. Man, I hope that ain't it. That looks like it might be it right there. I better pull over and just double check real fast here. I'm going to pull over right here at this place. I don't want to be over here loopy doop, loopy doopy. Hold on. I have a better idea where I need to be now. I found a landmark. All right, let's do this here. I forgot what I was talking about, but I hope I was done talking about it. Oh, shoot. What? I don't remember this. Davis. I know where I'm at. Why didn't it take me this other way? It would have been a whole lot easier. It took, it took me this way because I needed to see those houses, I think. Okay, 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 okay. I know exactly where I'm at. Okay, I know. It's crazy, man. We're almost there. This is pretty close to that veterinarian I took. Snow. Or I didn't take, but I went and met Snow. The Maltese at. It's right there. It's like right there. I should have just looked up some landmarks before I headed out. That was a long one. I got to read that one. So down here, just past all the trees trees everywhere by the way man some of those houses were so nice but honestly like um maybe that's what I was talking about but don't you do you also feel like you're in this this little bubble like you can't believe the that the things that are happening are happening okay wait Okay, wait, I think it's, if I got to that, it's too far. So I think I need to take a left into this si little situation right here. So I think right now I've got to bust a U-turn. Let's just hope that's what I need to do. And let's hope we're right here. Come on. No, I don't know, man. There is a CPA right there, but let me just pull over here. Okay, let's just look. Well, let me look. No. This is supposed to be it. Or it's supposed to be around here somewhere. But I mean. Oh, let me check that. Let me check the address. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's one more back. You hear them birds, man? What are they doing? Yeah, the birds seem to stay open, stay up all night long here, man. <laughs> Making noise all night long. Oh, they got a lake right there. A little baby lake up in there. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun now. Yeah, this is not where I need to be, but I think it's just one up. All right, let's go. If they got cameras, you, remember, you, who was with me when we went to Cynthia's uh, rehab and I was driving around in a circle and stuff? Who? <laughs> Were you with me? Were you with me when we went into Cynthia's rehab and I was driving around in circles? <laughs> but that place was a circle. And it had a, like a bridge, it had this, and I had you guys hanging out the window and everything. I mean, you have to, 
I hope you laugh. There's the veterinarian right there. I should have looked at like freaking. Okay. Come on, man. This you have to be right here somewhere, bro. Welding. Okay, this is too much, man. This is too much. Let's go ahead. And, wow, they're bit. Are they busy? Are they here working? Let's see. Stupid. It's. I smell marijuana though. Someone's working on something out here. I better roll my window up. No, maybe it's a skunk. <laughs> My phone is going to overheat totally, man. Okay, let me check. I don't know, man. Let's try one more time. This is ridiculous, man. Now leasing. That doesn't look like it. I don't know. Can't read none of that crap. You know, when you put a sign, please put a sign that you can read. When you open up a business, put a sign people can read, man. You're going to spend $5,000, and I know how much these things cost, okay? So you're going to spend $5,000 on this stone sign, man. Don't even waste your money if no one can see it. It's not worth it. Okay, now let's try this one. I can't believe I went that far. I guess so. This is too much. I am looking for the name on there, and it is not on there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the number, though. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Ooh, look at that door. Let me show you this door. Look at that door right there. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Let's see. Let me put my signal on. <laughs> All right, we are in the right place, and now we need to look for a sweet number. So, let's do this. Oh, it says building one, so it, it might even have multiple buildings. This is too much. They definitely upgraded, though. There's no numbers on the doors, people. No, no, nice door, no numbers. Oh, and then you have to also walk around? Oh, no, no, no. This is, mm-mm. 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 Okay, I finally see a number. I see one number. And, I mean, it's getting real dark back here, though. <laughs> Let's go down and just stay on the outside. Okay, we're getting higher in the numbers. Ooh, we're getting higher. Boy, it feels like we're in that circle again. Maybe these are brand new. That's why they look seem so empty. Or maybe they're just empty because it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay. Lots of counseling here. Lots of counselors here. Okay, we're getting higher. Okay. Okay, I'm, be back here. Is this a... Come on, are you going to be back here? Oh. Oh my gosh, the last one in the very back. So when she gave me the address, why didn't she say that? When you get there, it's going to be the last one in the very back. Extreme rear end. Oh my gosh. Finally found it. Nightbot's not going to stop talking, okay? <laughs> Might as well just befriend him. All right. Now get everything on just in case you know go and get your pistol well I mean we are in the back check your camera oh yep we are on camera right there let's go see if we can find their drop box we'll be right back
Good to go. Good to go. Brr. It's getting cold, isn't it? Brr. All right. Let's go out to the, more of a public place and I'll read everything that y'all been writing and then I'll say good night. Let me check my feet. Yeah, it's a little warm. All right. All right. Hope you guys get that. Hopefully you call me in the morning. They do have a pretty cool drop box. I wouldn't mind having one like that myself. Not that I need anybody dropping anything off. Like that. Nice building though. It looks brand new. It looks like it's uh, expensive. High quality design. A nice iron metal door. Got the security camera. It's not too dark, nice and lit up, nice. It's nice. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, here. We'll go down over here real quick. Y'all want anything? You want anything? You want a candy bar? You want a soda pop or anything like that? I mean, I'm not getting anything, but I'll get something for you. I don't really want to get out and touch anything. I don't want to touch nobody. I don't want, I don't want no one to touch me either. Don't even touch me, man. <laughs> I'll just keep my breath to myself. So anybody that's like honest, honest about your kind of an in, um, what do I want to say? You're like an introvert, but no one believes you. Now this has really created you to be a true introvert, hasn't it? Okay, let's just chill out and talk for a minute. Okay, let me scroll way up here. <laughs> all right, you guys, what's up? And so I went all the way up to the top. I think I went up to like uh, make Victoria's Secret is where I can where that's a s DM says always up because depression and anxiety keeps me up sleep usually five a.m. to two p.m. Five two really okay yeah that'll be up all night. Hey honey bee, what's up? What are some businesses that um, are a bust. I love the panties, but they're closing the stores. Are they really? What's up, Kathleen? Callie, thanks for hanging out. Honey Bee, I miss you. What's up, S. Minter? Hey, hi, neighbor from Hearst. What's up? Only the best are up. I like that. I think I read that. Preparing for a big surgery. So she told you guys she's praying for a big surgery. We're praying for her. How many people went to bed already, man? Are you guys still up? Like, come on, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Megan's always up this late, I suppose. What's up, Florida? Please be safe in Florida. I don't know what they're doing in Florida. I can't even tell you what we're doing in Texas, but I'm not a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it at all. So Victoria will close 250 stores. So will Starbucks. Starbucks will actually close a lot of stores. So will uh, Kohl's. Was Kohl's? Yeah, I think Kohl's was on the books for doing that. So being up this late is normal, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm also a night owl. I really am. I learned being a night owl when I grew up always working in the service industry. So I was always a server, bartender, something like that. And I would be up all, and my first, one of my first jobs on my own was a bus person at a 24 hour restaurant called Perkins. And I loved them. And I still do when I go back into town in South Dakota, Perkins is like an IHOP, but different. It is still different. And I worked the overnight shift easy on the weekends because I didn't have school. So that just grew on me. And that was my first job was when I was 13 years old. And that is when I got my driver's license. Yep. Back in the day, if you had a job, you could get a driver's license. And boy, oh boy, I loved working that overnight shift. <laughs> oh, now it's scrolled all the way down. So I have to go all the way back. Let me see. Let me see if I can get back far. I better not do that again. Okay, don't write anything for just a second. Let me just scroll. This is, hold on. Don't write anything. Give me one second. Let me catch up. Let me, let me go fast. It's 1228 here. I'm always up this late. Anybody else from Arizona? Um, at VS5 Games is from Arizona. Interesting. Arizonans are also having some issues out there. Victoria's Secret. Got that. Got that. Thanks, Maru. Yep, we need the prayers. I pray several times a day for them. Thank you so much for your prayers. I appreciate that. 
three in the morning. Oh no, it's really late. Okay, then hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I had to drop off some paperwork and I was doing my taxes, Kathleen. My spouse had a transplant, fought hard to live this year, make him. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, man. That's tough. I feel like I'm quarantining during the quarantine. I know, right? My parents almost let go, but they fought hard to stay there. Yep, they get 600 a week to stay home, but they are going to put a stop to it. We'll see what happens. Can't believe that, though, what I was telling you guys. If you didn't catch it, you'll have to go back and rewatch it. Mosquitoes can carry COVID now as well, which makes sense if you think... You know what David was saying two months ago? He said, Didi, do you think these mosquitoes are car that carry COVID? And so we got bit by some mosquitoes. <laughs> Tawana says, Didi, I just... To let you know that watching your grooming videos helped me through a lot of panic attacks. Thank you so much, Tawana. I appreciate that. Make sure you leave that on a review for me so other people may maybe can find that it's useful to them, too. Hawaiian Airlines. Ooh. I have to say Hawaiian Airlines. I haven't flown, but maybe twice with them. Um, they're usually not the go-to. Out in Arizona, they would be. California, they would be. You know, West Coast. But I haven't flown with them. But when I have, I also liked them a lot. So... I like that. Thank you for sharing that. Billionaires got billions. Yep, exactly. Pier 1, JCPenney, Tuesday morning, all going out of business. That's crazy. That's just crazy. To th and I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, why not the dollar stores? Why are they still doing so well? I went to China on Korean Air. I'll have to try that. They're fixing to go after them, Kathleen. How is Japan? Please go the next opportunity you get, which will probably be a while from now. Okay, you can start chatting. I'm just going to scroll. If I miss some stuff, I'll have to just say I'm sorry. It's because our political system is corrupt. Keeps the rich richer and makes the poor poor. Horrible. Please let me run for president. But if you, you know what makes me sick? Go read about it. Go Google. What does it take to run to president? And what does it take to run for governor? And how much money do you have to, it's all about money. How much money do you have to make to run? And then if you if you get to run, then you can't continue working the job you were working before that. Is that what the heck does that mean? I don't know about you, but if I could do my own job and not get any money for pay for make, being president or governor, wouldn't that be what you do? And wouldn't that be sound awesome? But instead, we just look turn our cheek when we realize you know our our money pays those people to work and why are you there if I didn't vote for you and I don't really like what you're doing? You know, a lot to talk about. I'm up because I'm a teenager and I stayed up for a while and got and it got later and later. Now I'm in the graveyard shift to sleep during the day. <laughs> I see. Okay, I'm scrolling, scrolling. Yeah. Cedron headache meds and Coca-Cola help knock that migraine right out. Usually it would, but... Let me tell you, MP has been through all kinds of stuff to help her headaches, right? Do, 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 aspirations. Callie, she has to drop something for taxes. Yep, that's right. Thank you. I'd love to have Dee Dee live in my neighborhood. Oh my gosh, man. What am I up to tomorrow? I'm so old school. I still use paper map. Oh, do you? Are they even updated anymore? Oh my gosh, man. If, if I get if something tent and sleep in front of their house just to feel a little bit richer, <laughs> that's too much right there. That's too much. You can hang out anytime, girl or guy. I mean, I could be wrong. It's like using a scribe during a clinic or hospital visit. It allows the provider to focus on the patient rather than charting or typing. Ooh. My sister is a scribe going towards the, the call me. We suck at spelling with our fingers huh it's hard to read on the in the receiving end be calming <laughs> oh man it's really cool to chit chat with you guys if you're watching i hope you're having fun watching but i know it's hard when i go back and read everyone's comments who is who's actively participating in the chat it's got to be definitely hard to re-watch it later so i'm really sorry if that sucks for you but if you miss this live feed it's don't miss the next one because then you get that same one-on-one -on -one and that little chat and we're all sitting here chatting together like a big family. So don't miss it. My goodness. Diane says, I'm up again, but this has been going on since last year. So COVID only exasperated this insomnia. The rich get richer and the rest of us. God, I so agree with what you said, how much money. 
Oh my God, I'm not the only one that can't sleep. <laughs> Maru says, I always have fun with you, Didi. Thanks, Maru. Except for sometimes when I'm gaming and I'm all about the game. Yeah, I'm sure that's boring. Didi for 2024. I can't, I don't want to raise that money. Why do I have to raise money? You know why? Because there's no one that's going to help me campaign. Unless you have money. Why can't we just stand up and explain how, what we're from and what we are, we're going to do and what we're going to focus on and take our experience and da, 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 and go and run for president? Why can't we do that? But instead of being able to do that, the, the requirement is you got to be this married kid, blah, 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 all this stuff. And then you also got to raise, you know, if you're going to run as an independent, you got to raise 14,000. If you haven't done that by this time, you got to raise 10,000. You have to register to put your name on that. And by the way, if you get hired to be the governor, whatever you were doing before, you've got to just stop doing it. You're not allowed to do other things. <laughs> Everyone is funnier at night. I don't know, man. Take a circle round. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna take a circle round because this car came through and ma it made a loud noise back there. We're gonna take a circle round. I'm at a public place right now, but my doors are locked and I got my pistol. Is that place even open? You know, everything has changed. You know, gas stations are not the same as they used to be. I don't even know if they're really open. Wow, but they've got a lot of signs on the door though. Let me show you. Required, required, face mask required. No more than so many people are allowed in the store at one time. Temporary, no refills. Man, it's got, it's got, it's gone down. This is, it has gone down. It's like, it's going down, man. <laughs> okay, I gotta get some sleep, man. I gotta get home. Let me just scroll real quick. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to focus on the ride home all the way through. And that's kind of because my phone's getting hot. So I'm going to lose you anyway, maybe. And I don't want to risk that because I, I want to end on like a good term, you know. And so I, um, thank you. <laughs> and don't go crazy on me, okay? Just check back in with the video or two. Share, share, share. Love it. Like it. Whatever you want to do. But definitely talk to me. Go check out the videos and comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling and what you're going through. I'm going to try to catch up with some of those comments and let you know how much I love you by, by sharing my... Sharing other comments with you back, okay? Let me scroll back. The one whom Jesus loves says, Can I ask you, since you were military, how do you feel about that girl killed in Fort Hood and sexual harassment in the military? My sis was army and said it's true absolutely my sister's currently active duty and she's an advocate for that type of um she's a female and she's uh, she's i'm not going to tell you who she is or what she does but she uh, she has some rank on her and she personally does does not like sexual harassment and she's been an advocate for that in the military and that's in the air force anyway and we know 100 percent it happens all the time so it's a shame that I don't know. He took if it was him, right? If it was that gentleman, he he took his own life when they were trying to catch him and stuff like that. So I just have to say, it. it re I cried when I heard the news. I really got. I already knew she was gone. Uh, when I I have a, a feeling that overcomes me, and I and when I saw the first initial that she was missing, I said she's already gone. Right? They just need to find her, and that was my initial feeling. And then I said. I didn't know it would be something like that, like harassment. And then for his ex-wife to help dismember her body. Oh, oh, it takes a lot of control here. <laughs> There's a lot of self-control here. Let me just tell you that. Just, are you kidding me? 
But the, in my opinion, I honestly think some other people knew some stuff. And then they tried, to, and maybe it was even higher up. Like maybe it was higher up and that's why nothing happened fast because they were trying to just not do anything about it. So it makes me, it makes me terribly mad. So if you have family in the military, make sure that they know, speak up, speak up and ha and have some friends in there. And if something's happening, you actually, you're talking, and this should be across the board in your schools, you know, in your colleges, you should have like a code system with your closest friends. And then don't always believe, no offense, right? But girls are chatty, man. And David said something to me the other day. He says, you know, Didi, the way I look at it is like, he said, I'm going to write a book about groomers. And he goes, because I have seen so much shit with, with what's happened with you, with these other groomers. Why do they do that? Why do they act like that? Why do they behave like that? Whatever. But the point is like, just like all this 2020 that we watch, you know, and there's these kids or teenagers and guess what? They're actually still like adults too, that act that way and behave that way and do some really sh It's all, it doesn't matter if you're just a kid or not a kid. But there'll be some, like that one, that one group of friends, three friends, and the two girls, they killed the, the other friend, right? The 2020, and they were like, what, 13 years old? But she didn't die. She survived. She was laying there, and a guy running found her body, and she went to the hospital, but she was really, she was almost dead. And then those two friends went to jail or whatever. They tried them and everything like that. These are girls, and they were her best friends. And so I'm going to tell you right now a little secret. Sometimes a stranger is your best friend. So if you know someone that you can trust, it doesn't need to be your best friend. But somebody that you trust, even if you just have that feeling like, I trust this person. Not a guy trying to get in your pants. Not a guy trying to manipulate you because you're young and cute. But a friend. And it could be the same sex. It could be a gay friend. It could be just someone not in your little friend circle because if me and you are best friends and I am gonna caddy on you I'm gonna get caddy on you which means I'm do stuff behind your back talk shit behind your back if I'm gonna do that to you but I'm not gonna do it to your face but you're 13 years old or 12 or 10 or 15 and you think they're not gonna do it to you but you don't know any better but you're hearing this what I'm saying maybe find someone that you can confide in some of your secrets and you have to Figure out who that person is, but tell somebody is my point. Don't just tell your best friend, because no offense, your best friend in college, your best friend in high school, your best friend in grade school just might have something over on you. And maybe they're jealous because your hair color. Maybe they're jealous because your eyes. And I'm not saying doubt your friendships. I'm just saying have a backup plan. So if something like that were to go down, this friend over here wants to take your boyfriend away, at least you've got to talk to Didi, and Didi kind of knows what's going on. And Didi will step up and say something because I don't have any reason not to. I don't want your man. I'm like a totally different age than you. But someone who you, and no offense, I don't really want it to be the opposite sex unless 100% there's nothing like pedophile or sexual going on. It really needs to be somebody of the same sex, maybe older than you, but someone that has no reason to let you down. Someone that's m much more mature than a caddy person behind a backstabber person. None of that, it comes out of that person's mouth. And there are people like that. Because David said to me, you know, Didi, you don't like being surrounded by that. So it, it might come around and you get in, you might talk a little bit and say a few things, but then you get back, you pull back and you, you don't like being around it. I don't like being around backstabbers, shit talkers, people that talk shit behind people's back. I don't like that. It bothers me. I'm going to say something and I'm going to step back and be like, okay, I, I got to let you guys go. Y'all want to stay here and do that. Y'all go ahead. I'm going to pick my friends a little differently. So everyone, I hope you get that. It's, and I'm saying this because maybe, maybe there'll be somebody young that can hear this and it'll save their life. And um, in, their, in the military, I was 17, right? when I signed up. So if you're in the military and you have a friend or a sister that's that young, you need to talk to your family members. No offense. Guys also get harassed and sexually assaulted in the military or on in schools. Guys also different men, 
not all, but different men. Some, some are the ones doing it and some are the ones receiving it. So talk to people you love, especially if you, like you said, that one lady said it's her sister. Maybe you need to have a talk with her. She needs to have a backup plan. Her backup plan isn't her best friend. Her backup plan is a best friend and maybe um, a supervisor on this side, a different squadron that has nothing to do with her situation over there. No one's going to but be upset if she gets promoted. No one's going to, you know, like, has nothing to do with that. But someone should ought to know. It shouldn't have been a question of, like, I heard that my sister was being harassed by someone higher than her. I should have a name. I should have a name on that person. So as soon as she came up missing, right, boom. We knew right where to knock. It shouldn't have been a freaking six-month investigation. This is... Mm -mm. All right. I'm out. I got to get home. So thanks a lot for being here, hanging out with me. I hope that you learned a little bit of stuff. We got to hang out a little bit. And that I kept you some company as a, an hour company as you can't sleep. So God, I wish these folks here on my channel, I give them a good night's sleep. Get them to bed. Let them know that all the troubles and things they're worrying about will be there in the morning when they wake up. So just put it on the shelf tonight. Put it on that cabinet shelf tonight. Put all those worries on that cabinet tonight so they can turn off the light and rest at ease. Because all those problems, if they want to pick them back up in the morning, they will be right there. Let them know. Don't bring it to sleep with them tonight. Put it on that dresser. Put it on that cabinet. Or if you have to, open the drawer. Put that shit in that drawer. And shut the door and say, you're in there, the problems are in there, the worry's in there, and I got to sleep. God, please be with my family here and my favorite groomer. Watch over them. Watch over the world with COVID-19. And please, please, God, do not let these mosquitoes all have COVID-19 and really take us all out one by one. Thank you for our family here. Please bless those that need it the most. And please hold the hand of everyone going through some really hard trauma, low income, surgery not feeling well, or maybe even suffering from COVID-19 or high anxieties and other health issues, please watch over them. God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for being in my life. Amen. All right, you guys, thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you keeping me company, and I hope I kept you company too. So we'll see you soon, okay? I love you guys. Bye. I miss you. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs>